we play almost a different country every other day, you know, traveling a lot, and sometimes that catches up with you, and you get quite exhausted, and that's how that happened, and uh, he's, feeling, he's feeling much better now. I really love the Claxons, and uh, they've been on a, a couple different, a uh, couple festivals with us so far, uh, but they've always either been on a different day um, or a different time, and so tonight I, I got the chance to see them, and I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. I haven't, I haven't really listened to Without You Have Nothing for 10 years. And uh, no, this is, we never had the intention to recreate something in our past. I think the opposite, really, you know, we tried to move forward. Um, but saying that, you know, I, I, me being in the band, I can still kind of draw a red line through, through all the records. Um, but with Battle for the Sun, I guess there is a, a, a bit of a sort of a newfound energy. You know, there's, there's some young blood in the band for the first time in a long time, and uh, yeah, I guess it's a bit of a new start, you know? but at the same time, there's, um, I mean, some of the songs on this album were written sort of three or four years ago, so they also kind of span. Um, how, how many tattoos do you have? How many tattoos do I have? Yeah. I got about 70% of my body, uh, so I added about 70% more tattoos to the band. Yeah. <laughs> um, 80% more smiles. Uh, I say 73% more spunken. <laughs> and uh, the blonde. Can't forget the blonde. and uh, a lot more blonde. <laughs> it's its own thing. I mean, all you can really do, you mean, you're not gonna come out on stage and, you know, come out with all these new tricks and everything. I mean, if you did that for each gig that you did, there was no way you have enough tricks in your hat. But we're gonna try to play the songs, but as much in, in enthusiasm as possible and you know get the crowd involved and just try to make try to make the show for those who are watching it and experience it something special for them like this you know like I saw placebo in 2009 and that's something I'll remember for the rest of my life and hopefully that's what's special about it